This dispatch is coming from the Trail of Tears and is all about the creation of a new written language. Now, any of my dispatches from the National Trails channel are from one of the United States National Historic Trails. Another example of this would be the Oregon Trail. But today, we're on the Trail of Tears at Sequoia's birthplace. Sequoia was born in 1776 in the now-gone historic town of Tuskegee, Tennessee, which is in North Monroe County, Tennessee, in between the towns of Venor and Toqua. Historic sites all along this valley were documented prior to the valley being flooded when a dam was built on the Little Tennessee River. Sequoia's father might have been Nathaniel Gist, although there's a lot of speculation. What we know for sure is that his mother was Wutaw, and she was the daughter of a Cherokee chief. Sequoia's wife was Cherokee, they had a family, and he was a silversmith. Sequoia, along with other Cherokee, enlisted to fight in the War of 1812 alongside the United States under General Andrew Jackson against the British troops and the Creek American Indians. Sequoia was exposed to the concept of writing as a child, but he never learned to write or speak English and spoke only Cherokee. During the war, he began to toy with the idea of a written language for the Cherokee people. You have to remember, at this point there was no written Cherokee language. Unlike the other soldiers, the Cherokee were not able to write letters home or read their military orders or document important events. After the war, he began to create the first writing system for the Cherokee. When he arrived home, he started to make the symbols that would eventually make syllables and eventually words. He reduced thousands of Cherokee thoughts to 85 symbols that represented syllables. He made a game of the system and taught his girl Aoka how to make the symbols. In 1821, after 12 years working on the new language, he and his daughter introduced his syllabary, which is a guide or collection of written characters that represents syllables, which is a little different than an alphabet. An example of another language that uses a syllabary is Japanese. Chinese, on the other hand, uses logograms, which is another form of writing that uses a character to represent a word. We could do a deep dive on language here, but that's a conversation for a different time. He presented this syllabary to the Cherokee people. Within a few months, thousands of Cherokee became literate. By 1825, much of the Bible and numerous hymns had been translated into Cherokee. By 1828, they were publishing the Cherokee Phoenix, the first national bilingual newspaper, along with educational materials and legal documents. By 1850, there was near 100% literacy amongst the Cherokee people. In recognition of his contributions, the Cherokee Nation awarded Sequoia a silver medal created in his honor and a lifetime literary pension. He continued to serve the Cherokee people as a statesman and diplomat until his death. Thanks for joining me. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my documentaries, dispatches from the National Historic Trails, or adventures abroad. Now get out there and live your life.